Did Jello a uh, cocktail brand Lola lead to her marriage trouble? And you know the uh, George Clooney has uh, his own uh, tequila brand which is Casamigo and it was sold for a billion dollar. So I think Jello also was uh, you know thinking that uh, her uh, brand could be sold for a billion dollar is possible and she's very uh, hard working on promoting her drinks because every time you go to her Instagram she will be promoting her drinks her the Lola uh, cocktail drinks so uh, the Daily Mail unfortunately he wrote it the promotion of video couldn't look glossier a perfect Italian summer's day the rugged Amalfi Coast in the backdrop, beautiful people smiling and drinking glasses, and at the center of the group, an exquisitely made up Jennifer Lopez. She smiles knowingly to the camera as she prepares to sip her drink. This then was the launch of Jello co own cocktail range, the Lola. In common with other Hollywood celebrity, celebrities such as Jessica Parker Jessica Parker no Sarah Jessica Parker sorry Sarah Jessica Parker George Clooney Jello had sought to develop her own alcohol offering in an effort to further monetize her empire one wonders if the brand of spirits and fruit juice mixes were really worth it for as a friend close to her Husband Ben Affleck told DailyMail.com her alcohol venture was one of the things that broke the camel's back. However, it's understood that the drinks company was started prior to them getting back together. And Ben was aware and supportive of the business in, indeed. They go so far as say it contributed to Ben, not Jen, being the one to pull the plug on the on their union amid speculation that their marriage is finally at an end. Why was Ben 51 so infuriated by this high profile commercial enterprise? Friends say that as a recovering alcoholic he felt his wife selling vodka and tequila tipples was insulting to him. He had after all spent many years battling in uh, his addiction. When the label was first launched last year, he was said to be devastated. His hurt was only uh, heightened by his belief that his motivation for launching her drinks brand was purely financial for hold hard cash. First, seeking help for his alcoholism in 21, Ben has since been in rehab multiple times. His drinking led to the breakdown of his marriage to Jennifer Garner. To make matters worse, Jello then went on a public promo campaign where she told the press how much she loves to drink, to relax, and let loose. Even this week, she released an image of herself lounging on a sunbed in a swimming costume to advertise the latest addition to the range. One friend of the actor told the male Ben had to fight to get his life back after overcoming alcohol, knowing how he lost everything, including the love of his life, of his family, knowing that he could possibly relapse. Jen decided to start her own Spitzer line for more money, as if she did not have enough. This was one of the things that broke the camel's back but Ben saved his sobriety so I, uh, I like uh, Ben said you know she's, she's worth 400 million I guess uh, she wants to be a billionaire so she continued to uh, is that's more important to Jello to have more money to be a billionaire than to save uh, his wedding I mean his wedding his marriage and because Ben is uh, you know alcoholic that's when they broke up uh, to begin with and then they divorced from Je Jennifer Lopez I mean Jennifer Gardner also because the alcohol and he wants to save his life he wants to be uh, happy and sober but I guess that's uh, Jennifer Lopez only worried about money and I guess it's you know when you have uh, 
a lot of money to uh, sacrifice, I guess, uh, it, it hurts for Jello because uh, it, Didi, even Didi, I think he sold his uh, vodka brand for like 800 million and uh, George Clooney sold for his uh, Casamigo for a billion dollar. So that's, I think that's what she's thinking, you know, becoming billionaire, but uh, he has to sacrifice uh, Ben, unfortunately. So I hope uh, they both happy now. They separate. I think they, uh, the, their divorce is finalized. So sadly, so that's the deal.